guys and welcome to tonight's extra video. We got the whole gang. We got Sophie, Sophie, and Gabby's on the way. Oh, Sam. Sam's pretending to drive away from Gabby. That's I didn't so know mean. I going to drive away from her. I thought she was staying home. No, she's coming. That was rude. Anyway, welcome to tonight's extra video. We're headed to Sophie's driving lesson. Um, it's a little lesson. later today. We riding had lesson. her riding. riding lesson. Gabby's driving lesson soon, you guys. Gabby, there's a truck. Gabby will be riding soon. It's crazy. What? She'll be, oh my gosh. Best never Gabby will be driving soon. It is crazy. This is what my brain is like after three days with little, little people. We have my grandkids for the last three days and I'm going on a little bit of sleep, a lot of work and no rest. So that's what happens. That's why everybody who has little kids should have rest. It ha should have somebody who steps in and helps them out because having kids is a lot of work. Anyway, we're hopefully Sylvie gets to canter today. Like I told you guys before, she's starting from scratch, just going from the bottom, but she's going up really quickly because she obviously knows most of that stuff. So she's just doing it really, um, she's just going through them. She's just going through all the basics up to where she needs to be to like really get into riding. So hopefully she uh, gets to canter today. So Smokey is a quarter horse, yes. but he's huge. Didn't she say he's a quarter horse? I don't know. Oh, I'm going to ask her. I thought she said he was. I don't know why I thought he was, but he is a massive boy. He must be crossed with something because you are big. But and he also has such nice hair. Like, look at that hair. That is gorgeous. He still doesn't know me. He's like, oh, how dare you touch me? <laughs> and he wants to eat the grass. They know. Okay, he's a Canadian quarter horse. You're a Canadian cross with a th with a quarter horse, which would explain the the hugeness, the hugeness of this boy. Do Canadians do Western riding? Going into this new discipline reminds me of how like much I didn't know when we started English because I. I always, I don't know anything. I don't even know what breeds are popular. I know like quarter horses and paint breeds and crosses are popular in Western, but I don't know it like very many other. Like I know warm bloods are the most popular for English, but what's, what, what is, is it just quarter horses for Western or is there like other breeds that, that do well? All right, warming up. Obstacles today. Working on obstacles. I see it in your eyes. Yeah, I can read the signs. You need to get away. It's time we make a change. He's definitely like Storm. He's not going to go anywhere unless you ask him. Oh, you know you'll always have me Baby, I will always stay with you So put your trust in me We'll work it out, you'll see If we get in a car and drive someplace far Yeah, we could go for a ride The two of us, we don't have to stop
I know, it's so weird. She really struggles because in English you don't like flop around your legs. So the idea here is, so they're doing obstacles, they're doing three different obstacles. This is barrels and she's supposed to do an even circle around the barrel and then like a serpentine between them. Look to the back row right there. So the trick, it, the thing that she's supposed to be working on is going even around the barrels. Not too close, not too far. She's going over pole, so she's going to do all of this at a jog in a few minutes and speed it up a bit. But right now they're just like doing the the pattern. She's reminding Sophie to bend her arms. Make sure you don't twist your body too much, just go like this. Like open and turn your shoulders to the same. There you go. Girl. And then turn your around. Good job. And neutral, off the chest. There you go. Good job. Open, bend your elbows to the We're gonna have a traffic jam. Just hold there for a minute with Smokey. So start looking where you wanna go, Sophie. Open the rein, bend your elbow. There, so he has lots of warning, good girl. 
Good, hands forward. Open. Look around. Turn your eyes and shoulders. Her Are first you? ever pattern in Western. Okay. Putting it all together. Does your dog run differently? Like it's like he lopes. Yeah, he does lope. I think he thinks he's a horse. Yeah, it's so funny. <laughs> Sometimes he's on the wrong leg. You should come down now. Or like that. If you're like Parker, you're on the wrong leg. Yeah. All right, so that was super fun, interesting. So if you did our very first pattern, I, I don't know what that means, but uh, she did it. <laughs> how'd, you, how'd you feel? Good. What'd you like? I like his um, uh, jog. You like his jog? So he definitely isn't a forward horse. So what she said was that on a horse that's not forward, that doesn't move forward, um, that she should let her legs be really loose. She has to loosen up, let her legs go loose, let them flop around a little, and then it helps them to move forward. Yeah, and Western horses, you have to flap your feet around. Yeah, and that's how Storm Fiona. Was the same way. Yeah, Storm was trained the same way. <laughs> but I told my friend that, and she said that no, you absolutely do not do that in Western. That you sit your feet the same exact way as English. But this lady said that when you ride a more forward horse, that you um, sit a little tighter, a little less floppy. But that, um, but that's what they do with less forward horses. So 
lots of things in the works and the plan. She even said she'd come home to our house and train Sophia at our house if we wanted to. Um, so when she gets a horse, we don't have to drive it in or we can drive it in, but we're gonna see. I think we're just gonna figure it out as we go. It'll be a few weeks before we figure out everything, get it all cemented and, and plan out what we're gonna do. But it's gonna be exciting. I'm excited. It was fun. So she did her very first ever pattern. Did you like the pattern? Yeah. Yeah, that was fun. Also, she said that next week they're gonna try loping. So she's gonna she's gonna lope on that guy for the first time in Western. Don't you know that you're beautiful?